Hey guys, well today I thought I would show you a quick tutorial on how to create a two color text effect such as this. And this comes in handy, you know, if you are, uh, you know, doing different design type work or, you know, something like a, a sports jersey or something like that. So uh, let's get started. So I have a new layer here. I'm going to just hide that, make sure we're on layer number two. Um, so first what we'll do, get our text tool out, click a board, um, and uh, I'm going to do number one, get our arrow, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. What we need to do right here is turn this into uh, you know vector form, so we're just going to go to object and expand and click OK. So now you'll see our number is now in vector form and we have a little outline. Uh, quick little tip, if you hit Command or Control Y, uh, it will take you to where you can see your vector outlines. Kind of a cool little tip there. You know, if you're doing a decal work or working with cutting vinyl or anything like that. So uh, if you didn't know that, Handy little tip. Anyway, back to our uh, two color outline. So we select our number, and now we're going to go back to Object, Path, and Offset Path. Our little dialog box comes up, and with the offset, you know this is going to change the size uh, of the offset. Uh, your your second color, uh, you can you know make it bigger or smaller. Uh, you know play around with it, but you can also preview it. So I find typically when I do this stuff uh, If I leave it at like the default offset there and hit preview, you know, it works out pretty well You know if I scale that bigger or smaller and anyway, we're gonna hit okay So now we if we hit that control Y again, we'll see now we have our original number and now we have an outside uh, Outline of that number so we're gonna hit control Y again and we can now select that inner number, right? But this is all one group, okay? So our, our, our both of our lines, even though we can see them, they're grouped together. So we need to go to Object, Ungroup, and that'll make it so we can select them independently. So we'll go, go, click back on our inside number, and um, we'll change that to yellow Oop. that was on stroke there we go so now our fill and stroke are both yellow you don't I guess necessarily have to have a stroke but uh, that's what I selected when I hit the swatch so anyway uh, hope that helped you out also if you are using this on say making a t-shirt uh, or vinyl decals you know what you can do with from here is uh, you can you know select one and control X to uh, cut that create a new layer control shift V and that will place it right back where you cut it from on a new layer so now there are two separate layers you know so if you're gonna go and uh, cut this out so where you know now you can uh, re-layer it it'll be a two separate you know cuts if you're cutting it out of vinyl so anyway uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, feel free to ask um, until next time adios